Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be talking about the Washington Commanders new stadium and how momentum is building towards a new stadium in Virginia. We're going to be looking at the report that goes over the three proposed sites and they are all in Virginia. So we'll go ahead, talk about that in today's video. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. Hit that like button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. I'm so close to 7,000 subscribers. So please help me get there. Also, follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to get to 1,000 followers on there. Now, let's get right into the video. One of the biggest stories this offseason, next offseason, and you know, the offseason to come will be where the new stadium for the Washington Commanders will be, and then, you know, all the stuff that comes with it, you know, what's going to be in the stadium, what's going to be around it. But the first thing is, where is it going to be? And that's going to probably be decided soon, whether it's this offseason or next, it's likely going to be decided soon. So they're going to have to pick between, you know, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. I think everyone's preferred choice, including mine, is Washington, D.C., and the dream location would be the old RFK site, but it's pro it's very unlikely that we get back to RFK, but it's still a possibility that, you know, they get to DC. But right now, it's looking like Virginia is the front runner. Not necessarily saying that it's 100% going to be Virginia, but likely they are the front runners for a stadium to be built there. And again, not my preferred, you know, spot. I much rather have it in DC. I mean, it's the Washington Commanders for a reason. So I think the team should be in Washington. You have the Nats, you have the Capitals and Wizards who are all in DC and you know the commanders are in Landover, Maryland, which I think that's just a horrible site. So if I had to rank the states in which I think you know I would want the stadium to be, it would first be Washington, then Virginia, and then Maryland. I just don't like it in Maryland at all, unless you have it at the National Harbor. But even then, I would still rather have it in DC and you know, Mar or Virginia as well, just because I think the majority of Washington fans are in either DC or Virginia. There's still definitely fans in Maryland, of course. I mean, there's you know, subscribers of mine that you know, of course live in Maryland, but I think the majority of fans are either in DC and Virginia. I mean, you already have another team there, uh, you know, in the Baltimore Ravens, so I just don't think it's a good idea to stay in Maryland and definitely not stay at FedEx Field. Um, I, you know, there was a graph with, you know, the every stadium in the NFL and how many bars and, you know, stuff like that that they have around their stadium, and we were dead last. I mean, it's just not a good location at all. Far away from a lot of people and just the stadium in general is not that good. So let's go ahead and look at, you know, the report that came out with the three proposed sites. Okay, so let me read this report right here from Channel 9 where basically they lay out the three proposed stadium sites and all of those are in Virginia. So we'll see in the next few months and, you know, next year if we see any sites that are proposed in Maryland or DC. So basically um, now they say now never before released documents obtained through a source close to Washington Commander Stadium project that were reviewed by Channel 9 reveal that uh, the three potential sites where a commander stadium could be built in the Commonwealth. So we'll go through those, uh, you know, different sites right here. They weren't able to show the document on there, but the, you know, they have three different sites. And the first site is 29 miles from downtown DC in Sterling, Virginia. And the stadium would be built on the site of Loudoun Quarries in Loudoun County. Out of the three different sites that they had, I like this one the most. It's not amazing, but it's close to Dulles. I feel like there's a lot of Washington fans in Northern Virginia. I think that's where a lot of the Washington Commanders fans are. And, you know, I think it wouldn't be bad to be here. Of course, again, the preferred site is DC and, you know, preferably, you know, RFK would be the one you would really, here's a tweet, you would really want to go for. But again, it's unrealistic that we are able to go back there. But if we're able to go back there, of course, that's the number one site for a lot of fans. So 
I'll read some of the things right here. The proposed stadium site in Sterling likely sits in the busiest of the three commercial areas off Old Ox Road and just minutes from Dulles Airport. So site B is about 26 miles from downtown DC in Prince William County. The location is right off I-95 in Woodbridge, accessible by Telegraph Road and commercial and resident street, uh, residential streets. So you see, I, I don't know what the picture is, if that's where they were you know, thinking about building it. And it's in Woodbridge, Virginia. And the, yeah, the, they say the Woodbridge Stadium site would back right up against an existing neighborhood on Summit School Road. Uh, you guys can read some of the rest right there. Um, and then the most surprising of Virginia's three uh, potential stadium sites is site A, and it sits about 35 miles from downtown DC in Dumfries in a Prince William County development known as Potomac Shores. So I mean that, I mean that picture isn't a great one, um, but I mean it's taken in the winter. But that's my least favorite of the three proposed ones. I would go from the first one to the second to the third. That's my ranking in the ones I like the best. And I mean they're weird, you know, locations all kind of in Northern Virginia. In the northern virginia area some a little bit more south than others and at least in you know that regard it's going to be closer for a lot of fans because landover maryland was a it, it takes a long time to get a fed to fedex field especially if you live in virginia so this will help out those fans and you know still be pretty close to dc so let's go ahead and kind of I want to look over some things that will be in the new stadium. So at all three plans include a stadium, of course, 700,000 square feet a footprint and a near or yeah, and a nearby hotel training facility with three fields, indoor field offices, and then um, resort conference center, and then retail offices, housing, nightclub, family venue and cinema so i mean there's a lot of things there i was thinking maybe they would have a casino there um be one of the first stadiums that has one but you know maybe that's down the road and maybe they don't want to leak that out just yet in their plan maybe they want that to be a big surprise so those are kind of the three different you know sites that they proposed let me find the tweet right here from michael phillips he says on a more serious note one reason to be skeptical of dumfries is the rosies um, is that Rosie's is building a 400 million slot parlor resort there right now. Unlikely they feel great about sharing the market if Washington wants gambling too. Again, we didn't see anything about gambling in the proposed sites, but that could change and maybe they want to keep that as a secret. So Loudon, you know, the first one in Sterling, I think that's all right. Like I would definitely like that as a potential stadium option if we can't go to dc that would be probably my favorite one that they show they showed in this report but the other two i'm not so hot on the second one's okay but dumfries i i don't like that one at all especially if you add on michael phillips's point so i mean those are the three sites that they have i'm sure things will come out in the next few months um you know through the off season maybe we'll get some things next season as well to what the new stadium, where it will be, what will be included in it, and we'll probably get a new, you know, we'll probably get some news pretty soon because, I mean, when pretty soon, I mean in the next year or so, because the lease on the, this FedEx Field Stadium, I think, ends in 2026, 2027, so they have to start get, you know, to get moving on building a new stadium because it takes a while to, you know, fully build a stadium, especially the ones these days. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about Washington Stadium uh, planning, where you want it to be, rank the states, and then also rank the different locations that they had in the report. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. And peace, guys.